All right, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to 307 Country. Um, today we're gonna go ahead and get that heat exchanger finished up. So uh, we'll go ahead and get set up on that and finish up all the welding, get it put on the stove and get a fire going and see how she works. So uh, that's what's on the agenda for today. After that, I don't know. I've, about recorded all the content or edited all the content that I've got recorded so uh, we'll have to find some more projects I got plenty of them that's for sure so we're gonna get into some plumbing and uh, tile work uh, get the roof on the horse shelter we got a storm coming through so once that gets out of the way and maybe it starts warming up a little bit here towards the end of the month and drying out a little bit we'll uh, get that roof on Oh, insulation in the shop. I don't know if I'll record that or not, but yeah, there's plenty to do. It's just a matter of getting it recorded and getting it done. So, all right, we'll uh, get on with that heat exchanger. <clears throat> all right, hey everybody, we're, uh, I got the other end welded up. This stuff bows really bad when you pour the heat to it. So they're all wavy and stuff but that's not gonna affect the function of it some of them I got pretty good I'm learning real hard when you're welding real thick stuff to thin stuff but uh, I'll go ahead and fire up for the last couple here I did learn that if I can melt the pipe down and run it down and, and weld it, it works best. But sometimes I get the angle of the torch wrong or something and it doesn't work. Wound up blowing a hole in it. So.
Well, there's one. I got three more to do. I'm gonna go ahead and shut you off, and we'll uh, bring you back when we get to the next step on this. So we'll see you here in a few. All right, <clears throat> got all those welded up. Some of them look not bad, and some of them look really bad. But anyway, next step is my fan is 19 inches. It's this big circular fan, round one. So it'll fit like inside the end. So what I want to do is weld this on the end up here. Try to have to work slowly around here and it should be just flush with the edge there like that. So I'll just have to tack it. <clears throat> May just tack it in a few spots and call it good anyway. Then I'll probably cut it off I don't know, out here somewhere. I need a couple pieces, I don't know, two or three inches long to put chimney holes in here on the top and the bottom to run the stove pipe through. Fan will sit back on the back end of it, of course, will be horizontal. But. So I'm going to go ahead and start tacking this up, see how that works. I don't know if I'll run a bead the whole way or not. Probably not. So we'll be back with the next step. <clears throat> All right. Well, I got got the end welded on. I had a bunch of rust. I cut a patch out and patched over the rust spots. Ain't very pretty, but it's for the most part airtight. I had some holes. There's a bunch around the other side that I welded up. But uh, getting ready to put pieces on that will adapt to the stove pipe. So this one is the big end. This is going to go on top. I'll drop it down in there enough to where I can weld all the way around it. Um, I just went and bought a 12 inch piece of stove pipe and cut it off. The, uh, let's see, so this is the female end. The male end will go on the other side, and actually it's going to go up. Or no, it goes, this is the male end. This goes down. The female end goes up, and I'm going to drop it down into the barrel as far as I can, just to help hold some heat in the barrel before it goes out the chimney. 
So what it is, it's about a six and an eighth inch hole. So I had a compass um, set at three and a sixteenth, so I got a marked on there. And <clears throat> what I did so I can get this hole straight up and down from the other one, ran a level up and down on this end and marked uh, the edges of the barrel. So when I roll it back up, I can get <clears throat> those marks level and then just throw my level up here and find level and wherever it's touching right in the very center where it touches is actually the top of the barrel so that's where I made my hole and I'll do the same thing on the other end we'll go ahead and get this hole cut out get this dropped in there and welded and flip it over and do the other side about running uh, water through here filling that up with water see if I got all the holes fixed but I didn't want to take the time to do that and I probably didn't really want to know if I got all the holes fixed I can actually see one right through there at the one on one of those pipes the little pinholes like that I don't think are going to be a big problem um, the uh, The flu, the stovepipe ought to draft good enough to pull anything in. It'll be sucking air in instead of pushing it out. So, should be good. What I do with a piece of pipe? Oh, let's see right there. It's like so. probably tack both sides and then I'll put a level on it get it level this way tack these two sides and then work our way around it so I'll go ahead and fire up the torch and get that welded up <clears throat> probably won't do that on camera because it's pretty tedious and boring so that's the plan though all right we'll be back in a minute well I got her welded on there it ain't Perfect, but it ain't bad. So yeah, we'll turn her over and do the other side. All right, well, we got her put together. I put some legs on here so that that bottom piece of chimney isn't the only thing supporting this. I've got it pretty well balanced. 
So they got legs on the front and the back. But it's getting hot, it's already burning the paint off. Um, I didn't want to fire up the fan while I'm talking because it's awful noisy. But I will here in a second just to see. But I just got a fire in it. She's cooking. Just want to make sure that I ain't get a bunch of heat back here on the fan. So I'll bet uh, this top piece of pipe sticks down until it hits the top of this. So there's a lot of heat up here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it works when I pour the coals to the fan and we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm going to grab my temperature gun and then you know, I'll turn the fan on after I get a couple of readings. All right, let's see. Top of the stove, 488, 491. Is that up there? 400. Chimney's 450, so. I'm going to go through the roof. Yeah, we're up to about 250 going through the roof up there. So it's hot. I mean, it's real hot. Let me turn the fan on and see how she blows, how good of air it blows out of there. Oh, it's blowing pretty warm air right here. Holy cow, right there, it's hot. Like, like right there. That is hot, hot air. Way better than it was before, just with the fan sitting there back there blowing over the top of the stove. Like, man, that's going to heat this shop up. I got insulation for the roof today. I get that insulation in there, this thing will cook you out of here. Just as long as I don't get it hot back there where the fan's at. And that's, I can touch that back here. If that collar that I put back there gave it enough cushion away from the heat, so. I may have to put a shield in there to keep my fan from getting hot. It's kind of stuck to melt the fan, but. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right. Well, that turned out well. Not that I had any doubts of how it would work, really. Just a matter of how well it would work, I guess. But uh, it works good. I had a fan that blew more air. Or, I don't know, maybe some ceiling fans. Once I get insulated in here, get some of that heat to blow down from the ceiling. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. We'll get some black stove paint and paint it up and make it look a little prettier. It's kind of hard to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, but uh, it works. That's what matters. So I um, want to say thanks to all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Um, found a really cool channel from Rock of Ages. Did some shout outs. And uh, Marley Hops. Go check her channel out. She's She's quite the character. She's pretty cool. Um, she's living in Vegas and just living living life down there. So, uh, pretty cool channel. Um, Rock of Ages, and I think most of you guys that are on this channel know who he is. Um, he changed the name of his channel. I think it's Brother Rock or something. But anyway, um, he's doing a fundraiser for another guy that's got a channel and and the channel name his channel name is uh choose your own path 3d printing and carving if you guys want to go over there and watch uh, one of his latest videos it kind of talks about what happened but he had a heart attack all oh, back in december and uh young guy and He's struggling, can't work, 
um, lost his insurance, so everything's out of pocket now. And so Rock of Ages is doing a fundraiser, um, basically a raffle or fundraiser, whatever you want to call it. He's giving away a chainsaw, nice little home light, and a couple uh, axes. Uh, to get entered in the giveaway, you got to donate to uh, Choose Your Own Paths GoFundMe page. Um, 20 bucks gets you entered. Every increment of $20 after that gets you another entry. So however much you want to, guys, if you can, give anything. Um, if you don't want to enter in it and you just want to, you've got a little spare change, I mean, five bucks would help. Um, he's struggling, so, you know, can't work. He's going to be out of work for several months. And the bills don't stop, you know. The wolves are still at the door, so. If you guys can spread the word on that, um, you know, live feeds or uh, mention it on your channel, um, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, so anyway, on with whatever else we got going on. Um, I was talking to my dad the other day and he was, he was, gave me an idea for some videos. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys be interested in this or not, just kind of, uh, going through some old pictures in my photo albums and talking about life growing up the way I grew up, you know, ranching and logging and did some traveling uh, when I was a little older, eighth grade through, I don't know, my sophomore year in high school. Um, probably throw in some pictures, talk about stuff, tell some stories. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that kind of stuff. So um, other than that, we got, like I said, some plumbing projects, tile work, um, Spring's coming. It's, you know, according to the groundhog, we still got another month, but we can still get a lot of snow here until end of April into May. And I've seen snow here in June and July even. So we'll see. If anybody's watched my videos from last year when we were up at logging camp, you know, we were up there in June and it was, there was snow on the ground. So um, on that note, I'm looking forward to getting back up there. Uh, my buddy Clint that helped me log up there last year. Uh, we're on opposite hitches now, so we're probably not going to be working together up there a whole lot. But uh, I'm going to buy his tractors from him, the ones that we had up there. So uh, we'll have that equipment up there again. And now that I got the sawmill, we'll be doing a bunch of logging for mill logs for myself instead of selling them. So that'll be interesting. Um, got a trip coming up. We're going to go see Simple Man. Uh, kind of let the cat out of the bag. I was going to kind of do a surprise deal on that trip. But yeah, we're going to go do that here in a month or so and take a puppy down to him. I'll, uh, I'll throw some footage into the puppies right here. Cute little turds. Um, if anybody's interested in a good working cow dog, you got to be, you know, have a place for them to have something to do for sure. Um, but they're really good dogs. They're half Australian Shepherd, half hanging tree. Um, if you don't know what a hanging tree is, um, check them out on YouTube. There's a lot of really good videos on those kind of dogs. So if anybody's interested, uh, leave a comment with an email or something like that. And, uh, we can talk.
I want to say thanks to everybody in the comments and one of these days I'll do a few shout outs or something but Tasman Charlie you guys are awesome um, you know all the guys that are in the comments all the time um, love you guys you're awesome so all right that's enough blabbing we'll uh, see you on the next one 307 out mm -hmm.